You know, the Ronald McDonald House would not be the Ronald McDonald House if it weren't for all these marvelous, wonderful volunteers. Thank you. Volunteers like you make our mission possible. We appreciate your time, your talent, and your enthusiasm, and our guest families feel the love. Thank you, volunteers. So when you know, you're know you here for an extended time, which we were, we were here for about five months, um, you really start to learn the place and you start to learn um, that this is home and it feels like home and uh, everything around you and all the people around you start to feel like home. The Ronald McDonald House is more than a house, it is a home, not only for me and my family, but every family that's ever been here. Um, we would laugh and tell people, you know, this is our home. We were, you know, we were away from home. We didn't expect to have the baby here. Um, and just, you know, having our own room, our own stuff, where we could put our things and uh, the sense of community, um, you know, the, you know, everything from the, the books to the events that they would have uh, to sharing, you know, with uh, other people who were going through the same thing that you were going through. We walked in, um, got all of our you know, paperwork done, um, came up to our room and the first thing we noticed, our door was completely decorated um, with little welcome signs and um, some cute little flowers and um, it just said welcome and the Girl Scouts, I guess, had been by earlier that day and had volunteered to decorate all the doors for the new families that were arriving that day. So it was just really sweet and just a moment of, um, just a special moment that I'll always remember. So I took a picture and um, so that Tucker could see it later. The moment we walked in the room, we had so much going on with our child being in the hospital that literally I burst into tears and just thought, what an amazing blessing this place is. You know, a lot of families that come here, uh, especially the, the babies that are in the NICU, uh, germs are the enemy and they can be deadly. Keeping the place clean, holy cow, my kids could so, 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 so crawl on the floor and I'd be okay with it. And that's not a normal response. It's been about a year since we've been here. Um, and so uh, I brought my office staff and we came and cleaned the house. And they joke with me that there was nothing to clean because the house was already so clean. They were literally trying to find dust bunnies in the corner to sweep up because the place is kept so clean. And it's because there's volunteers every single day that are sweeping and dusting and mopping and cleaning the kitchen. I don't do an incredible amount of cooking. Um, and I think my waistline is uh, unfortunately a, uh, you know, a witness to the fact that food was very good here at the Ronald McDonald House, but it was such a big help to have that available to you. You're so involved in your child and, and trying to make them well that you sometimes forget about the day-to-day -day things that still need to be done. And there was, you know, coming back to the house, there was always a meal. You didn't worry about feeding your family because you knew that there was a meal waiting for you when you came home. And I say home, and I don't use that term loosely because for the time you're here, it feels like home. There were different people in red aprons and just um, feeling that they were there to help us and feeling um, and knowing that they were excited to be here and they wanted to do anything and everything that they could to make our stay as comfortable and perfect and special as it could be in the circumstance that we were here. We have a three and a half, well, at the time she was three and a half, and there were days where I absolutely had nothing left to give her. And someone in a red apron, such a wonderful, wonderful sight and relief, would say, let me take her to the playroom for you. You get some rest, and you trusted that they would take care of your child as you would when you couldn't because you were so exhausted. The cookies and the people that bake the cookies, I completely blame for not being out of the maternity jeans that I showed up in this house wearing. And I was here for five months, so I showed up 
in maternity jeans and five months later I left in my maternity jeans and it is totally because of the wonderful people that bake cookies every single day. Every day you come down and people are making cookies, the smells were unbelievable. Uh, it was very tempting, probably, probably too much. I think we had to back off the cookies at one point. Oh my goodness, and the cookies. Who doesn't like cookies? Perfect comfort food. When, when you would sneak in the kitchen and have cookies and milk, it felt like you, you know, the rest of your crazy life just disappears for only a moment. One thing that I would say to the volunteers is um, these families that come through the doors um, are in a hard place and they don't always have the, the emotional capacity to um, even look in your direction. So, um, but know that they are grateful. You may think your time is just being spent and you may probably get as much out of it as the families that are here because you get to see so much. But as being one of the families that have been here and lived here, we can never thank you enough. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, it really meant, uh, we feel so blessed that this was here and we know without the volunteers that it wouldn't be possible. You know, everything from brunch, which was my favorite, uh, to, you know, every little thing that everybody did for us was truly, truly amazing. And we uh, can't thank you enough from the bottom of our hearts. On behalf of our staff and, and the families that stay here, um, I want to take the time to thank all of our volunteers for the time that they give. Uh, they have no idea sometimes the impact they have on our families. Thank you for volunteering at the Ronald McDonald House of Charlotte and for all that you do to make our house a home. Thank you volunteers, we can't do it without you. We appreciate you, you're dedicated, you're hardworking, and you're very valuable to us. We appreciate everything you do. Thank you so much for all you do for our house.